What's going on guys? So I have a new product to show you. You may have noticed in my previous video I've done the x Techner pre-filter that has activated carbon inside but the airflow was too restrictive so I took it out. Now I got a recommendation from a comment on my previous video from Mr. William. Mr. William said, agree with the other two but don't recommend this air intake filter meaning the x Techner one. He said he has a similar one, the Basner one. The airflow was cut by two thirds as he said. Over time this can cause stress on the airflow system which I totally agree with. So this Farmogo one as he said before earlier ventilates up to 90%. He suggests to replace it with this one here. So 90% versus 40% airflow restriction has no activated carbon in and just by feeling the weight is much lighter as well. He's telling me there's no airflow restriction in the Model 3 whatsoever. So we're gonna install this pre-inlet filter. Hopefully it helps distinguish the smells from the outside and the big thing is not restricting the airflow inside the car. All right, so just to give you an idea of what I currently have set up here, I popped open the front and when we remove this top panel here, it should pop right out. And this is what I currently have for the air intake filter. Just had this little cover. Um, if you will, it comes right out. And now we have this gigantic exposed hole here. So with just this coverlet here and my HEPA filters, my internal HEPA filters, let's get an idea of how the airflow is here. All right, so I have my little paper here to give you a visual of how fast the air is flowing out of the vents. Let's fire up the vents here. I'm gonna put it to a max of 10. I have the air right in the center. So you can see air flows very, very nicely through the vents with my internal HEPA filters I have in place and just the coverlet through the front here. So now that we know there's no airflow restriction with the HEPA filters in place by Axe Techner, I'm gonna remove this coverlet. So now I'm gonna show you why I removed this pre-filter by X Techner with the activated carbon. Uh, we're gonna put this into place real quick and I'm gonna fire up the vents to show you how much airflow is being restricted when I have this in place along with my HEPA filters in place. So here we go. Fire it up, it's at 10. So you can see there, it wasn't blowing as high up in the air, it wasn't blowing as fierce, you couldn't even hear the paper blowing in the wind. Just for that reason, I'm removing the pre-filter, and now let's do a comparison. Now I'm gonna remove my x Techner pre-filter with the activated carbon, and put my Farm Mogo, if I'm saying that right, into place, and just by feeling this, it's much, much lighter, and there's no activated carbon, as I said earlier there, so we're gonna do an airflow test on this right now. So I'm gonna slide this, you see these two little grooves, fit that into its little slots here. Okay, now that that's nice and snug into place, let's do an air test. All right, here we go, it's set at 10. Moment of truth. And wow, I'm kind of amazed. Because there's no activated carbon inside this filter, the air can flow much easier through the vents. So I'm confident to say that I'm gonna keep this in place just to help mitigate the fumes inside the cabin when I'm driving around in my car. Again, my current setup is this Farmogo inlet filter, the x Techner HEPA filters, the internal filters, and I'm just gonna place this coverlet over the top as well. Let's do one last air test. 10. I still see no airflow restriction, even with the coverlet on top of this Farmogo 
filter. So I'm really liking this new setup here. I did not see any visual airflow restriction. And also I'm hoping when I'm driving around here, I don't smell as many internal fumes from other vehicles while I'm driving by them or sitting at a stoplight. So again, I'll keep you guys updated in the comments and let me know what you think of this new Farmogo internal filter. I'll post a link down below on Amazon along with this coverlet filter as well. One update guys on the HEPA filters I was talking about earlier by X Techner. I installed these back in January of 2020. It is now practically the end of April and the car still smells very, very good when I fire up the AC. I noticed though I do smell some fumes coming into the cabin when I'm at a stoplight or I'm passing a restaurant. But when you have these on recirculation mode, it smells super clean inside the car. Now, even with the stock filters by Tesla, I would still get a hint of fumes from the outside as well. So either way, I think uh, if you have it on recirculation mode, it smells really, really good. Highly recommend doing a cool it cleaning. Just spray some foam in there, let the foam clean the coils before you install these HEPA filters. It's a little bit challenging to install. They're very snug to get them to place, but overall, very, very happy still with the X Techner HEPA filters for the Model 3 here. That's all I have for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. I really, really appreciate it. Until the next video, guys, stay safe.